all right what it do it's your girl i go by neek and as promised i'm going to show you guys how to use the new sound exchange direct so by now you should have uh gotten your sound exchange information together got your login and once you log in it'll bring you here once you get here you want to click up here to my catalog and you want to come uh submit new recordings now at first you had to download a whole big excel file and go use excel to upload your songs but when you're uploading one song at a time you don't have to do that even two three four five songs but if you have a whole lot lot of songs you uploading it is still important to download the bulk excel file so that you can get everything done but right now i'm going to show you how to do one so first you're going to click add new recording or add recording and you're going to start with all this information right here. So the song that I'm going to show you guys today is a song that I am working on right now. Um, well, I'm going to use it for the tutorial. It's called uh, It's Lit. I mean, not It's Lit. I'm sorry. It's called Artwork. And here's the ISRC code for Artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my, uh, to my board. And I'm also going to need this UPC code. So bring you guys back here. So artist name, song title. This is the ISRC code right here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that right there. And as you can see, as soon as I put that ISRC code, this green box lit up right here. Now we go into recording claim and releases. Those are still red. So all the extra information that you put in here, such as the release date, that's added information. But like, like I said, as long as you got this ISRC code, boom, you'll see that red box turn green. That means your song is ready. Uh, you just got to get these last two. So now we're going here. Uh, you are the copyright owner or you are authorized collections de uh, designee. Designee. Whatever. I can't pronounce this word. But you're going to be the copyrights owner. So it is what it is. Your percentage is 100. And your rights going to begin the day you release the song. Um, so... Let's just say I'm releasing this song tomorrow. And your rights is going to end or it's going to be in perpetuity. Always select perpetuity because you never want to end the rights unless you are in a contract and you want the contract to end or something like that. But if it, this is your own music, you're releasing it independently, perpetuity. And as you can see, as soon as I click perpetuity, it showed up green. So now we want to get the release information. Your release information is going to come from your distributor. That's all this information right here. This UPC code and this ISRC code. Again, I'm going to make sure I got my ISRC code copied to my clipboard just in case I need it. So now I'm going to come here. My artist name is I Go By Neek. The album title. This is not an album. It's a single. So it's going to go artwork. And if you were putting this song on an album, which I'm doing in the future, you will put the album title and then you will put the UPC code for the album that it's going on. Because this is the public release. But like I said, I'm doing a single. So now they're asking me for the UPC or the EAN. That's this right here. This number up here that I just highlighted. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard and I'm going to put it right here. Boom. Now, my release label, whatever your release label is going to be, mine's is six or high. Catalog number, that number will come from your publisher. Uh, if you don't have a publisher, uh, you should definitely get your publishing in order. Uh, I'm probably going to make a video teaching you guys how to do that, but I digress. But as you can see, the release label, that's once I put that in there, you see that it lit up because I'm releasing this independently. Stakes are high. And then I just go back to the top and I review it, artwork, and then I hit submit recordings. And once I hit submit, it's going to uh, submit to Sound Exchange. And once the songs are submitted, you'll be able to tell uh, if your songs are submitted when you go to your catalog. And you click on associated recordings. That's what I'm clicking on right now. I'm going to show you guys. 
what the associated recordings page looks like. Once you get your recordings done and submitted, uh, give me a second. This is moving kind of slow. So, boom, as you can see, as a rights owner, I have 45 associated recordings. And as an artist, I have 12 recordings. So, as a rights owner, I'm going to click on that because I have the most. And I'm going to show you guys all the songs that I have released. And here they are. These are all my songs. Here they are. As you can see, it's lit. It's right here. I've already submitted it. But these are all my recordings that are associated with me. And, um, yeah, you can come here and you can check. And this is how you know that uh, Sound Exchange is monitoring your music. Because they will all show up right here. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Because I will be dropping more content soon and showing you guys more things and just how to get your music registered and released the right way so uh like i said subscribe